The new 2023 Nissan X-Trail has definitely made all Nissan lovers fall in love with the car once again. The car has received a new facelift for both the interior and the exterior, and we can say that it's looking better than ever. Nissan has outdone even themselves building a car that can stand up to others like the Toyota RAV4, the Kia Sportage, the Hyundai Tucson, and even the Mazda CX-5. But what makes this new model stand out from its competitors? Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. Today, we're going to look at what makes the new 2023 Nissan X-Trail stand out from all of its competitors. But before we go any further, please take a moment to leave a like and subscribe to our channel for more updates on your favorite cars. And with that, let's find out what sets the Nissan X-Trail apart from its competitors. Nissan released the fourth generation of the X-Trail. This mid-SUV has been there since 2001 and has managed to become a fan favorite. And even though it's had only four generations, it's still loved because of what it has to offer. After all, in the grand scheme, it's not that old. This fourth generation model has been long awaited. The third generation seems to have been on the market for quite a long time. This mid-SUV has a mission to put the Nissan X-Trail back where it really belongs, which is in the third or fourth spot in the mid-size SUV sales charts. This is after the launch of other vehicles such as the Kia Sportage, the updated Volkswagen Tiguan, and the refreshed Toyota RAV4. But does the 2023 Nissan X-Trail have what it takes to take back its position? First, let's find out what powers this car. The new generation of the X-Trail comes with a 2.5-liter direct-injected, naturally aspirated four-cylinder engine. This is the exact same engine that comes with the Mitsubishi Outlander. After all, these two are somewhat like twins under the skin. They're both built on Alliance-developed platforms, which is the CMF CD in this case. They also use the same engine, which has a power output of 135 kilowatts. This is an increase of 9 kilowatts from the outgoing Nissan X-Trail. The torque has also been increased by 19 newton meters to stand at 245 newton meters. In addition to that, Nissan also increased the towing capacity to about 2,000 kilograms. Furthermore, the car is said to come with a single-speed torque converter automatic, but that is yet to be confirmed when the car has officially been released to the market. The interior of the car is better than ever, even though Nissan upgraded the exterior of the new X-Trail to make it look swish with cool design details such as the V-Motion grille and splash-free wipers that have been present for a while now on Master Products. They have definitely outdone themselves with the interior. One might even say that this is where the true glow-up has occurred. There's a lot of leather to go around with some pretty advanced technology packages. The most notable upgrade is the broad 12.3-inch touchscreen, which is pretty much the biggest in this class. The 12.3-inch infotainment screen is very crisp and legible. It's also easy to read as well as navigate. Just below the big screen is a physical HVAC control. So if you don't understand the menu on the screen, you can just use one of these controls to get the desired climate. There's also a physical volume control knob as well as lots of handy switches fixed right onto the steering wheel. These can be used to adjust the digital drive display as well as control the music and all the other stuff that goes on in the car. To add to the magnificent design is a touch of leather on the dashboard with some real stitching. That makes it feel quite classy. It's definitely classier compared to the old generation that had a center stack with a tiny screen. There's a touch of brown leather on the doors, but it may not be to everyone's taste. But what matters is that it adds to the style and the class of the new generation of X-Trail. The leather seats are a nice touch, making the car even more comfortable. This is something that Nissan has managed to do perfectly for quite a while now in their flagship variants. The seats come with decent electric adjustment and 8-way power adjustability, which includes a 2-way lumbar for the driver. The passenger, however, only gets 4-way electric adjustment, but the seat can go up or down. So you don't have to worry about your head being stuck on the roof. And speaking of the roof, there is a full-length sunroof that can be opened as well. In addition to that, there's a nice light-colored headlining that gives a little more light inside the cabin of the X-Trail. Nissan also added some hearing for the seats, but unlike on a Korean car, there is no cooling. There's also a heating feature for the steering wheel as well, which is a nice touch for the lovely leather on it. Behind the steering wheel are some paddles that can be used to control the CVT and the transmission. 
The doors come with some generous door bins and little cubbies in the door handle that are big enough to put your phone, keys, or something else. There are also two cup holders in the center console, which are surrounded by a nice textured piano black. I don't think that it's going to get any scratches anytime soon, unlike any other untextured piano black. There's a wireless charging pad, which is set to charge phones really fast at 15 watts. There are also two USB ports, a USB-A and USB-C port, and a 12 volt socket. The gear stick has also been upgraded and it looks much better now. There's a butterfly opening in the center console that opens to a nice deep storage area. This is deep enough to fit all the little things that you need in your car. Underneath the floating center console are more storage spaces, which have been fitted with rubber to prevent things from sliding and making noise. When it comes to the interior fitting and finishing, I think the new Nissan X-Trail has outdone itself and it is truly one of the best compared to other midsize SUVs. The second row of the Nissan X-Trail has always been generous. However, in this new model, they've greatly limited people by removing the option of the third row on a base model. This means that if you're looking at the lower end of the X-Trail, then you might consider other models such as the Mitsubishi Outlander, which comes with three rows of seating. However, Nissan has managed to add a premium touch to the new X-Trail. They've decided to focus on maximizing second row comfort in the new generation X-Trail, and they've done a great job at that. There's a very decent amount of legroom as well as headroom at the back, enough to make your ride as comfortable as ever. The back seat is also on sliders, meaning you can just slide the seat forward if you need more room at the back, and you can slide it backward for more legroom. The backrest is also adjustable to two angles, but adjusting that is a bit awkward because you have to reach all the way to the little thing on the side of the chair. The leather from the cabin continues all the way to the back, and it is nice and is of very high quality. The armrest at the back is more of a ski port, but it also serves as an armrest. People at the back also get their own adjustable air vents, a climate zone, as well as a USB-A and USB-C port. The two outboard seats also feature some heating, which even adds to the comfort and luxury of the car. The only difference is that the brown leather on the front is replaced by a hard, scratchy plastic on the back. But there are some nice leather bits where you can rest your arm. To make sure you're as comfortable as ever, the back doors come with integrated sun blinds, which is pretty awesome. I think we can all agree that the 2023 Nissan X-Trail has completely outdone itself. It stands out compared to its competitors, with awesome new features that give it a nice luxurious feel that you would definitely look for in a mid-size SUV. What do you think of the new Nissan X-Trail? Do you think it stands out from its competitors? Feel free to let us know in the comments section below. Also, before you go, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to our channel for more updates on your favorite cars. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.